Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me in another little episode here on Icarus. Guys, we are on Primarius. We're going to take a look at what, what update 120 but just in. So let me just share that one with you on Steam. Good stuff. So, water revamp. Okay, water quality and purification process. This is uh, it, it's very good. Okay, it's very good. Unexpectedly, it's very good. <laughs> so, a uh, new layer of depth to the water quality system and three new water purifiers. Actually, there are four, but okay, let's say it's three of them. Uh, they adjusted the modifier supplies to different drink drinking vessel. We're gonna take a look at that. So, hot drinks can now be sipped on rather than consumed all at once. And that is just amazing. I mean, I had two thermoses with coffee in here consumed first. When you consume them, they're gone. Okay, now you can drink from them, which is just amazing. I already tested, already built all the purifiers. We're not gonna waste any time on this. Now, notable improvements. Wind turbines will no longer take damage when the selected difficulty is easy. Uh, this is very nice, thank you. But I'm not gonna play easy because it's goddamn too easy. I want it on normal. Nevertheless, they don't take as much damage. It's fine. I mean, I have five of them that were never repaired and they're still making 1,300 something power after like 30 storms, so it's fine. Wolves no longer howl every time they play the idle animation. Thank you very much. Will wild beehives now grant experience and bestiary progress towards bees. That's good. Uh, the land shark will give you relevant experience and loot. Very good. And he will be destroyed because he was hidden. Whatever. Water skins have been buffed to no longer leak water. That is just amazing. Early game is just amazing. Thank you very much for that. Now let's get into this. So now you get four, one, two, three, four, five types of water. The water that you find in the world, it's tainted you will have 15% chance of getting dysentery, okay? No matter if it's from your canteen, uh, whatever you have, thermos canteen, or straight from the lake, river, 15% chances of getting dysentery. The rainwater that you can collect, we're gonna take a look at that collector in a minute, it is gonna give you only a 5% chance. So, use at your own risk, okay? You're gonna shit on yourself. <laughs> Now comes the nice stuff, filter water, uh, treated water and purified water. These two are easy to build, I'm going to show them to you, uh, actually all three of them. Uh, filter water, this is water that has been filtered using charcoal, which eliminates any chance of dysentery, but provides no extra buff benefit. Uh, early game, this is the go-to, this is what you should do. After that. Treated water, treated water uh, that has been through a plumbing and charcoal filtration process on the tier 3 purifier. More info below. Yeah. This provides, uh, pay attention, minus 10% in water consumption. Okay. And a minus 10% decrease in stamina consumption. So both last longer. This one in here is just amazing. Last year, purified water. This is water that's been, that is purified using plumb water and an electrical process. So, goodbye charcoal, very good, on the tier 4 purifier. This provides minus 15 in water consumption and minus 15 in stamina consumption. Amazing, amazing, I'm telling you. So, with the new filter water, filter water, purified water, variation come. Uh, three new purifiers to achieve these states, therefore. T1, charcoal, okay, uh, to provide filter water. Two variation, exactly, that's what they're for. One that can be placed in the water, whatever body of water you have. And one that can be placed in open space to act as a rain catcher. 
when provided with charcoal as a fuel. This will produce filtered water. Again, filtered water is the one that you get no dysentery from it, but no benefits, no buffs. Tier 3 runs on charcoal and plum water and will provide treated water. The one with 10% decrease. Uh, plumbing requires connecting to water network using pipes from, of course, it's logical. This machine has internal storage for filling and will fill water vessel when placed into the machine distribution slots. I'm gonna show it to you. This machine also requires charcoal for the purification process as a fuel source and the combination of the two will provide treated water. This is very good. I don't like the machine, but that's a different story. I'm going to show it to you and why I don't like it. Tier 4. This is the best. Uh, combination plumb water and electricity will provide purified water. Is the one below. Mm -hmm. As mentioned above, plumbing requires a water pipe system. But this machine will also require an electrical source to operate. It's fine. This purifier will fill up a vessel that is placed in its inventory when provided with the required electricity and plumb water before moving to an idle state, which is just amazing, when the vessel is filled. It takes absolutely no goddamn time to fill a canteen, it's like 2 seconds. The purifier will sit in an idle state unless actively filling a vessel. Amazing. Water produced by this machine will be the highest possible quality purified the one at 15 percent this is what we want this week water vessels so to pair with the new water purifiers all water vessels like water skin canteen thermoses have all received an upgrade water vessel we now attach two modifiers we're being drank from one based on water quality and one based on the liquid property so the water quality it's defined above the four types liquid so, cool water, which is normal, or tea, or coffee, or whatever you're making in there, okay? So, items such as tea, cocoa, or coffee are no longer single-use items. Amazing. When placed in a vessel, this can now be sipped or consumed over time rather than all at once. This also means that vessel containing them can be placed in the water slot. In your environment and consumed over time this is very good stuff here by the way my guy needs to drink better take care of that really soon uh, because of this the modifiers for any liquid state in a vessel has been standardized to five minutes if a device containing a liquid such as tea or cocoa the modifier can go substantially longer than this as every sip resets the counter yeah perfect the change to water quality does mean, however, you have to be conscious of the quality of the water you are filling your vessel with. A vessel will always default on the lowest quality of water applied. It's normal. So if you have purified water in your canteen but you're filling up from a lake, it will become tainted. It's, it's normal. It's absolutely normal. You can always remove all the liquid from a vessel by right-clicking on the item and clicking empty. That one doesn't work yet, mister. Or focusing on it in your hotbar and right clicking on it. That one works, thanks God. In addition, due to change to water, players will no longer drink or fill up canteens while swimming. It's normal. Like a uh, paid whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's get out of here because my guy is really thirsty. <laughs> Almost dying here. <laughs> So this one is purified water. If you right click on it, uh, you cannot tempt it, okay? You gotta put it in your hot bar. We'll not drink the water right now. Okay, focus on it. You see in the right side, it says in here, empty container, right click. Good stuff. Now let's get out here, water low, and drink from the lake. Boop. Guess what? I drank from the lake. It's wet, thirsty. Uh, no, I just fill it up. Drink. Hold to drink. I drank. Amazing, I'm not thirsty anymore. But, tainted water. Consuming dirty water has a 15% chance to cause this injury. So, I don't have it yet. 
which is just amazing. Let me empty that canteen. So if you have it in your inventory, right click, it doesn't say empty. I am guess it's a bug, it's gonna be added. Not worry about it. If I highlight it in here, I say empty container is fine. So when I'm filling it from here, oh, guess what we have? <laughs> uh, it says tainted water, okay, but you can remove it. Now, we got it here. Uh, let me begin with the beginning. So this water purifier in this, Jesus Christ, rain catcher, rain water purifier, they work with charcoal. That one can be placed only in water, that one only outside, not in water, of course. So if you access it, you see up there in the right corner, zero liters, hold to access. You can put it here, uh, Yomajigi. Let's not put it all. <laughs> Three minutes for 36, so 10 per minute, whatever. Anyway, this guy will purify the water. And now it's filling up. 0 0.23, 0 0.25 liters. You can see it in the upper right corner in there. Now, you can fill your container with this. So, I got my container highlighted. Okay. E to fill container. I got the water that was in there in my container. It says in here, filtered water. Okay? So, amazing. Now, I cannot get rid of this stuff in here. <laughs> of course. Let me just look in here. So, filtered water. Come on, baby. Okay. Filter water was the one that you don't get dysentery from it but it doesn't give you any buffs okay so only the buff from water cooling you that's it but no chances of getting diseases good stuff uh same thing with this one basic rainwater purifier you access it drop in here some charcoal the same stuff with not so much time it should fill up basically but i think it's waiting for the rain so how it's not raining guess what i don't know why the hell it is consuming that guy it shouldn't um yeah it should only consuming that when it's raining and it's producing water so that one, I don't know if it's so good. But this one, it is good. Okay. Let's uh, split it again. Put more in here. You see? Two liters something. Very good. Now, let's get to the building of those. So, if you go on your... Those two outside, you can build it on your character. They cost exactly nothing. So, 30 sticks, 25 fiber, 4 stone... 10 charcoal. This is the guy you put it in the water. This is the rain collector. 15 stone, 20 fiber, 15 sticks, again 10 charcoal. The tier 3, the tier 1, you make it in here. I think. Me thinks, but not sure. I don't remember where I made it. Maybe, no, in the machining bench. In the machining bench. Uh, is this guy water purifier 40 fine with 10 ingots 30 stone 5 epoxy it's not bad okay it ain't bad at all it ain't bad this one uh i'm gonna show it to you in a second put it wrapped up in here is this guy okay so a water purifier that can be connected to a water network to filter water uh i don't have the water pipe with me let me get the water tool highlight so this guy connects in the back in here this is the connection point you see that that looks like a manual pump well it takes a lot of space from the wall you cannot push it further this is how you gotta place it so yeah uh, again i got this interior amazing so i got it twice from that water that i consume 
amazing. You don't want to use uh, water from the rivers, I'm guessing. But it's fine. It ain't that bad. Nutrition from food, plenty of food in the game. But this one, you can put it here, your container. Of course, it will not fill it up unless you have the goddamn charcoal inside. When you're gonna have that one, it will start consuming. It's the charcoal pretty fast. You can actually see a contain down there below. Tiny. It should get filled up. That one doesn't look like it's getting filled up. So in here, it does show you what you got in your canteen. But in here, mm -mm, nope. So whatever, it doesn't matter. What it matters is that it's that your canteen is getting filled up. So right now, we got in here treated water, minus 10 water consumption, minus 10 stamina consumed, plus, of course, the buff from the water, cooling and temperature, okay? Uh, not interested in drinking this for now, so we'll throw it away. This is the last year. Electric water purifier is the best thing ever, mister. Thank you very much for inventing that. Uh, you make it in here in the fabricator, pretty expensive, but it ain't that bad, okay? It ain't that bad. What the hell it is in here? Two titanium plates. So you're gonna need six titanium ingots, 10 electronics, 14 aluminum ingots. Requires 1000 power and 500 water, but only uses that when you are actively filling your canteen. In the rest, it's on idle state. So, and so big of an issue. Put your canteen here. Making noises, puffing. <laughs> Looks like a big espresso mas machine pissing all over. <laughs> Again, you don't see that one getting filled, okay? But guess what? It just passed on idle. It stopped. That means your canteen is filled up. Even though you see in here zero liters, when you get in here, it's filled up, okay? So, here we go. Minus 15% water consumption. We don't care so much about that. We do care a lot about minus 15% stamina consumed. So, when I'm gonna consume this, I'm gonna have an amazing buff. Guess what? If that one will go, it will be even more amazing. But, pure fire water. Minus 15% water consumption. Minus 15% stamina consumed. Amazing, isn't it? Now, here comes the question. Me, I was imagining having something like this connected to the water network. Because uh, these guys are using water, okay? But they can, they can work with dirty water very easily, okay? I don't care about them. Same with the glass working. Same with these guys, the furnaces. Same with the masonry bench. With the semi-mixer. Uh, I should take this one off, by the way. Uh, I don't care if they work with dirty water. It's fine by me. I mean, why should the bricks have clean water, you know? Or whatever you're doing. Nevertheless, the cooking, that's a totally different story. So, when I'm washing my hands in here, I get my buff. I love having a million buffs, by the way. But it doesn't say anything that it has tainted water. Remember, this I mean, that guy up top is connected. I don't think it has any influence on the network. So let's just disconnect them. Let's just pick them up just to be sure that they are disconnected from the network. Both of them. The guys downstairs, they're not connected to anything because they're basic. Nevertheless, I thought when I will come in here and I will cook, I don't know, something that requires water. Uh, it's in the other side. Soup, sweet corn, uh, mushroom. Okay, let's get some of that. Uh, I got mushrooms. Perfect. We're gonna make mushroom soup. So, remember, this guy, it's connected to the tainted water. So, in theory... It should cook it with that goddamn tainted water. And guess what? It doesn't give a shit about it. It's automatically made into into filter water. Okay, so 
the same as before no bad modifiers on it which is just amazing without having this machinery connected to it okay the network acts just fine if you fill your canteen from here so let's yeah gotta put it in here that one is filtered okay got rid of it uh if i fill my container in here automatically treated water so you don't have to put any machinery online you just automatically get the minus 10 percent buff so if you don't want the extra five you don't even have to build this one okay you just go just the way you had your setup until now without the machinery and you get an extra two buffs basically one for the water consumption one for the stamina which is just amazing uh now looking at that those thermoses they became they have gradation right now you can use it just like a canteen you see coming here fill it up you can sip from it multiple times it's just amazing uh, i'm gonna empty it and i'm gonna come in here put it in here and make a coffee you can have rainwater which it says that it has a five percent chance of dysentery if you make it with ice okay we're not gonna use that green tea uh gorse tea cocoa whatever coffee we're gonna make a coffee in here okay why is that no it's not happen craft hello it used to work i promise something is going on uh nevertheless let's try something else so if i have let's put that machinery in here if i have this one uh which gives purified water and i connect it to both networks basically i fill up my um what you call it my thermos with that goddamn purified water which is just amazing and i'm making coffee for example well that one take both of the buffs because that i that's that's a really good question you know because i'm gonna make my coffee with purified water okay i want it to be purified i want that a lot if i would have the buff from the coffee and from these guys would well, be just amazing you know let's fill them up uh, if you put three of them inside it's taking a lot of time of course but it is what it is so the thermoses are filled up let's go to our fireplace uh grab some more coffee here if i oh if i put it like this you can make oh so that one gotta be filled up with water ah uh, this is stupid so for the <laughs> for the soup it draws water from the network but for the coffee it's gotta be already filled up with water that's very interesting because right now that one has purified water inside of it nevertheless this stove it's connected to the tainted water let's do the same exercise in here we're gonna make some coffee automatically made okay this one takes one minute and something this one i think the same so no real improvement in there sleep for the night because i don't like that those goddamn noises so we have our coffee soon enough let's see this one oh my god it gives you both buffs you see so it gives you the buff for the purified water and the buff for the coffee oh my god i hope they don't modify that I hope it stays like that and in here 
29 seconds left. I'm guessing it's gonna be the same thing. So that's very good because if I wanna make in here my coffee, I will choose to make it with the purified water. And now when I'm gonna sip from this, my buffs would be just amazing. It gives me it gives me the buff for the purified water as well as the buff for the hot coffee. You see they have the same timer in here. It's just amazing. So minus 15 water, minus 15 stamina plus coffee. Plus max stamina plus 10 stamina regen. Oh my god. Well, with this change, um, why is it resetted? Oh, it's done. Perfect. Thank you very much. Coffee and purifying water. Amazing. Well, with this change, uh, the food buffs are not so important anymore. You know? Let's empty this one and let's see if we can have uh the buff for the gorsty and for this stuff as well uh nevertheless i don't think i have gorsty uh, so i have a bunch of coffee here um i don't have it that would have been really interesting to see you know if you can have the gorse or whatever liquid no i don't have them well i guess this is the end of our text uh, testing magic in here <laughs> nevertheless very good addition i like it a lot i will grow some gorse in here and some cocoa and check out if i can have all of those uh, buffs at the same time I will surely do that. I could make some ideas. Yeah, guys, this will be it for this update and for this episode. Thank you so much for being here, for watching this. If you like it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. If you want to help me on my trip of becoming a full-time content creator, you can do that by grabbing yourselves an amazing membership. Thank you again for being here and for watching this. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you all.